Hi, this is Kenny Shea speaking. In this section, we're going to talk about the pressure effect on the cell voltage. Uh, in the previous, um, we, we talked about the temperature effect on the cell voltage. And this section, we're going to talk about the pressure effect on the cell voltage. And uh, this one can be calculated by the nurse equation because the nurse equation, uh, they, uh, they are talking about uh, the free energy as a function of concentration or reactant uh, activity. So we're able to calculate from the nurse equation, uh, evaluate the pressure effect on the cell voltage. Um, this one from the thermodynamics, if I assume other be constant, the temperature be constant, and so the free energy change um, if we at a different pressure can be written as this formula. And that we also think of the ideal gas law, the PV equal to NRT. The VM over here is a molar volume. So one molar of reactants and how much the voltage will be the molar volume. From this two equation, we're able to calculate for a given species, the free energy change at a different pressure can be uh, written at this equation. And if we integrate, then the free energy change uh, at other pressure can be uh, write, written in this formula. The P0 is a reference pressure we assume is 1. So usually, we can omit that. So for a, this is for a single species. For electrochemical reaction or fuel cell reaction, maybe we can write as the AA plus BB and uh, this equation. Then the overall the free energy total, free energy change we can write in, uh, in by this equation. And then we can substitute the individual the uh, free energy for C or D uh, from this equation. Then we can end with the total change of free energy by this equation here. So, and uh, if it, um, we assume the molar fraction uh, of species I, we write as a YA, is equal to uh, the, the pressure of species I divided by the total pressure here. The total pressure here is, e in this case, equal to PA plus PB plus PC and PD, the total order pressure of A, B, C, D, uh, uh, all the species in the system. So this one we can write as a molar fraction, internal molar fraction. Uh, we we give it as an example for the um, the the hydrogen fuel cell. So the hydrogen fuel cell, uh, you, you can imagine um, the hydrogen is coming from here, and then it will be reacted on this platinum, and it will be equivalent with the proton ion inside the solution. The solution may be the one more one normal of a hydrochloric acid. The proton activity is equal to one. And the oxygen bubbles through the other one, and then on the electrode surface, maybe had this equivalent reaction over here. And if we make a voltmeter and measure the voltage, then we the voltage will be uh, should be close to the nurse equation calculated. <laughs> so this is a free energy change, and um, based on this one, then we can calculate uh, the the cell voltage at standard condition and the, at other conditions. So substitute this into the uh, the free energy substitute into those equations. We can calculate cell voltage at other condition. Over here, the n over here equal to two because the one molar of hydrogen oxidized will be involved two electron transfer. So the equivalent of hydrogen equal to two. So take all this into account. We can calculate the cell voltage uh, as a function of reactant activities. The activity, uh, if at a low pressure, is almost equal to the uh, the pressure. The, the hydrogen pressure and the oxygen pressure and the water vapor pressure. So we can read written those activity as a pressure. So this one we can write as an activity of pressure this way. So the, pre the effect of pressure on the cell voltage can be calculated from this equation. And 
if at other temperature, we can correlate this one from previous section, how it calculate at other temperature. So um, the cell voltage, we can from thermodynamics, uh, we can uh, calculate equal to E0 minus RT over NF and then log the P, the water pressure, oxygen pressure, hydrogen pressure. So on the fuser handbook, uh, uh, this one you can find on the website. Uh, they had to uh, write down the, the total equation for the different reactions and then how the uh, cell voltage as a function of those uh, reactants or the pressure. And uh, from here, like uh, the, in this case, hydrogen, oxygen uh, is uh, where it came from. Uh, you can see from there. It's uh, derived from the thermodynamics or so-called the nurse equation here. So uh, the effect of pressure on cell voltage, uh, we can calculate uh, uh, from this manner. And uh, if we plot the, the pot pressure as a function, uh, the cell voltage as a function of pressure, then we can get this plot. This is for the hydrogen, oxygen, pure uh, oxygen, and this is hydrogen and the air. So you can see um, this may be more close to reality because of the hydrogen air for fuel cell. And you can see from this plot, at a low pressure, uh, the cell voltage increase uh, much faster uh, than at high pressure. At high pressure, the cell voltage kind of uh, increase slowly as the pressure going up. Uh, from the thermal dynamic point of view, it preferred to operate the cell at high pressure as possible. But in reality, uh, there's a limit because uh, the first thing uh, for pure hydrogen, usually the hydrogen store at a pressurized tank. There's no problem. You can adjust at all different kind of pressure for the fuel cell. But the uh, air side is a uh, had to pump, uh, increase the pressure by compressor or blower to increase the air pressure from ambient pressure to however the fuel cell operate the pressure. So you need some addition, you can use some electricity su support of, uh, supply uh, for the compressor or air blower. And those electricity is came from the fuel cell itself. So if you operate very high pressure, you could use a lot of electricity just for the air blower or the compressor. It may be not economy at a, a higher pressure because the, the voltage gain at high pressure is uh, lower, maybe offset by the ele electricity con uh, consumed by the compressor air blower. Maybe at a lower uh, pressure, you might gain some voltage uh, energy output from the, if you consider the whole system wise. That's one reason. The other thing is um, um, if you operate a higher pressure, there's a danger for the Imbat pressure imbalance inside the fuel cell because you can see um, the hydrogen con hydrogen consumed in on the um, uh, anode and oxygen is consumed on the castle and it will generate water. The molar ratio is not one to one, so there's uh, some uh, pressure change inside uh, the fuel cell itself. The membrane is very thin. They try to reduce the internal resistance. So the membrane inside the fuel cell is getting thinner and thinner each time. If you had a pressure gradient across the castle anode, it's better to be careful because if you operate a higher pressure, you might have a higher pressure change. And there's a possible a, a puncture of the membrane or breakthrough from, and then the fuel might be, or the oxygen may goes through from one electrode to the other electrode, maybe um, the outbreak for the, the reactants. So usually the, the pressure may be operated at one atmosphere to uh, two or three atmosphere most. They won't operate at much higher pressure because of practical consideration. So this one, the, we tell about the, the pressure effect on the cell voltage. 
the next we're going to talk about the ideal energy conversion efficiency.